a little gray kitten was born and lived on the street. Mom was looking for food for him, he was frolicking with similar street kittens, still not understanding anything. The kitten lost its mother at that time and got lost. Apparently, while playing, he ran too far away and now did not know how to return, he wandered through familiar streets, but still could not figure out where to go. And in the evening, hungry, I went to the local dump to find myself something to eat. He was used to the lack of food, warmth and increased danger in the form of dogs, cars, and especially people. That cold evening, a group of teenagers passed by a local landfill. The guys heard the plaintive squeaks and found their source. The kitten thought that they would help him, but it was a mistake, it was necessary to run, but it was too late. Tipsy teenagers took the kitten by the scruff of the neck, they did not feel sorry for him, they decided to play with him, but for the baby it was torment. They started throwing the crying kitten to each other, it hit the guys painfully and fell to the ground. The guys filmed everything on the phone and laughed out loud. When he stopped squeaking, already losing consciousness, they threw the poor guy into a waste box. After the pain, the baby could no longer feel his body. He lay there for several hours and lost consciousness. The next morning, Luck smiled on him, a girl was walking by, she was specifically looking for kittens, apparently some kind of volunteer, and came across a grey mutilated lump. Who knew what lay ahead? A friendly woman took him home. She treated the poor little thing, he recovered quickly and had already begun to get used to the love and care of the hostess. As soon as the cat recovered, the unimaginable began, it became clear that this was not a nice lady at all. The girl put him in a cage and did not give him food and water for several days. This was just the beginning. The kitten naturally squeaked and cried, starving and dying of dehydration, sitting in its unclean cage, from which it began to corrode the pads on its paws. She liked the way the kitten squeaks, and she began recording these sounds on the microphone and slowly scrolling through them. She began to miss the monotonous squeaks, and in order for the kitten to squeak in different ways, she began to literally torture him. After the imprisonment, a washing machine followed, where the crumbs were repeatedly scrolled, as in a centrifuge. Then they grabbed him and threw him wherever they had to, just for fun. The last thing she thought of was cutting up a kitten that was no longer making any noise. Most often, she injured her hind legs, the kitten could not escape and just screamed furiously. The neighbors couldn't help but react. They came to her to find out what was going on. The kitten was just lying in another room at that time and couldn't even squeak anything. The neighbors decided that the kitten had already been taken away and calmed down. The girl, feeling that she was suspected of something, decided to throw the kitten into the basement. No one will hear or find him there. She threw the already unconscious baby into a box and threw it into the basement. He couldn't walk, she disfigured his little paws. All he could do was lie in the cold, dark basement and wonder why he was being hurt so much. Tears were rolling from his small eyes, he wanted a mother who would love him and would not let anyone offend. He lay there for a long time, already unconscious. There were other cats there and one good-natured woman began to feed them but she didn't go into the basement. During one of these morning feedings, she did not find any cats on the spot, but she heard them screaming inside the basement. She followed the sound and saw an unimaginable picture, 
several adult cats mewing near a small kitten. His paws were already rotting, there were deep cuts on them and you could tell that he was gone. But the cats were mewing insistently, and she decided to check it out. Incredibly, the baby is still breathing, but is literally on the verge of life and death. She picked him up and rushed to the hospital. The doctors were horrified. It was necessary to operate or euthanize. The doctor insisted that it was necessary to put him to sleep, the chance of recovering such a crumb, with such damage, was one in a hundred percent. The woman, despite this, could not leave him, it was impossible for her to feel sorry for the little kitten, who had not yet had time to live, but had already experienced so much horror. She gave away her accumulated money and he was operated on. After the operation, she took him home. The woman and her family treated the kitten for a long time and restored it, and soon it began to recover. A few months later, the baby, as his savior called him, moved around the house quite briskly. Now he was in a truly loving family. He was growing up and was already healthy. A few years later, they moved into a new apartment and moved their mother with them, she was already at a fairly advanced age, 86 years old. Early in the morning she decided to cook breakfast, she no longer felt the smells and heard poorly. There was a gas leak at night, everyone was fast asleep and only the baby woke up with his grandmother, he smelled gas. He started running around in front of his grandmother and tried his best to stop her, but it was useless. Then he rushed into the room, crawled onto the bed and began to beat the owners with his paws. They woke up. At first they got angry, but then they smelled gas and the cat ran into the kitchen like a scalded cat. People immediately understood what was going on. Grandma was already about to light the gas stove and everything could explode overnight, and in a moment not only this, but also other apartments could blow up into the air, taking with them many lives. The cat grabbed Grandma's leg, and the children were able to stop her in time. The baby calmed down and went to rest on the lap of an old woman. The rooms were weathered and the gas service was called. So the cat they saved from certain death has now saved their lives. Dear viewers, if you liked this story, be sure to put your finger up and share this story with your friends. If this is your first time on this channel and you haven't subscribed to it yet, I recommend subscribing right now so you don't miss another exciting story.